In this video, we're gonna compare the Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 4. So we're gonna compare the FPS, the frame time at the same location. This is from the same project. So first, I will turn off all the special features for the Unreal Engine 5, like Lumen, Virtual Shadows, and Anti-Aliasing. So we're gonna compare the same scene. It looks almost the same, but the performance will be very different. And then I will turn on the Lumen, Virtual Shadow, and the Anti-Aliasing. So so we're gonna see the special features of the Unreal Engine 5 will look more beautiful, but the performance will be very bad. Let's see a little comparison between Unreal Engine 5 and Unreal Engine 4. So I will enable the maximum FPS, you just type these values and it will enable your engine to, to show until 1000 FPS if your CPU can handle and your GPU and I will do this in the UE4 okay so now this is running above 120 and this is Unreal Engine 5 so Unreal Engine 5 are very bad in performance compared with Unreal Engine 4 I've already disabled all of the laggy features of the Unreal Engine 5 and I can turn, turn it on is the Lumen, Virtual Shadow and another expensive is the, the Anti-Aliasing Super Sample and Upsampling Alright, so these four different features are lagging my editor so is running in just 11 frames and in Unreal Engine 4 we have 150 so as you can see will be very lag in the editor and is almost unplayable and I can't do anything with this I will show my specs in the description but is a Ryzen 9 I have NVMA for both projects and I have uh, the most famous GPU of the world, at least in this team. I have a GTX 1060. So I will turn off these expensive features. Okay, temporal upsampling and temporal super resolution. I will, for the shadows, use the shadow maps. And I will turn off lumen. So global illumination set to none and reflection to none okay so now i have between 50 and 60 i need to freeze my my scene to increase the fps like now unreal engine 5 use some cache something it's very weird and the frame time are very bad Okay, so I will use the bookmarks, so this is Unreal Engine 4, and this is Unreal Engine 5 at the same scene, okay? So, as you can see, Unreal Engine 4 will be orange, and this will be blue. Unreal Engine 5 is blue, the menus, and Unreal Engine 4 is orange, okay? So, look to the scene, we have... 60 in the Unreal Engine 5 and 100 in the Unreal 4 is the same scene as you can see don't have difference looks like the the same the same editor I'm out tabbing both editors so this is almost 90 fps this is 60 and the Unreal Engine 5 are very bad compared with Unreal Engine 4 I suggest you to do everything you need in the Unreal Engine 4 because the performance are better and if you need to do something in the illumination you use Unreal Engine 5 to handle your screenshots but as you can see right here Unreal Engine 4 100 FPS and Unreal Engine 5 will be very bad don't auto save so Unreal Engine 5, 40 FPS, and Unreal Engine 4, 100.
So it's the same scene, same project, same everything. And Unreal Engine 5 looks very bad, very bad. I don't like it because it miss a lot of features and I very lag so I can't do anything. Actually I can do a lot of things but don't work. So I will turn on the the features for Unreal Engine 5. So I will turn on Lumen for both dynamic global illumination and the reflection mode. I will turn on virtual shadow maps. These have a lot of performance issues, but the shadows will look great. And right here we have super simple and temporal. Okay, so my Unreal is unplayable again, but it looks good. Okay, so if you use the Unreal Engine to render your screenshots, it will look great, but is unplayable. I think if you use the, the dynamic resolution, is is something to... It's, it's bad because you not render in the default resolution, and as you can see, the difference are very, very huge between Unreal Engine 5. Like Unreal Engine 5 is beautiful, but the performance are inexistent. So this is 4, 90 FPS, and this is 5 with 5, 12. 14, this is 90. Okay, this is Unreal Engine 4. Let's wait a little, so 5 and 4. Right here I have some problems in the Unreal Engine 4 because the renders, the frames are very bad in this scene. But as you can see Unreal Engine 5 looks great. In the illumination at least. And this not not are using the nanite or the word composition, word partition, sorry. So this is just a default project from the 4.26 render in the Unreal Engine 5. So 9 FPS to 10, 17, 8. So the frame time are not consistent and will look very bad. But the shadows are great, especially for far distance. Far distance will look okay, but close not will look good. So right here we have some difference. Let's put this scene, same scene. Okay, so I put the bookmark. And Unreal Engine 5, 27, and this 100, 4, 10, 110. So the difference are huge. I suggest you to use just Unreal Engine 4. And if you like to check the illumination, both the Unreal Engine 5, just take the screenshots. And is that Unreal Engine 5 don't have displacement so yeah it will be ugly i'm going to show to you more examples in the coming videos about the difference between unreal engine 5 to unreal engine 4. so as you can see unreal engine 5 i very lag in the editor i can't do nothing i can't edit anything and if i have a rtx 3090 this will run in the 30 fps so it's bad very bad